Hey guys, amid all the self-quarantining that's going on these days, I finished my fourth CB Giddy kit. This is the Giddy Lily. Um, it is a concert-sized ukulele, ukulele, however you want to say it. Um, you can see they do stamp this one on the back, so you can see it right there, Giddy Lily. Um, this actually went together pretty nicely. Um, turned out pretty good. You can see I put the skull, or I did the red paint job, obviously. Here, let me flip the back over. So the neck I um, stained. And then you can see that it's very square when you put the pieces together. So I sculpted that out a little bit to give it some playability. That is actually a knot in the wood there, if you're wondering. I didn't, you know, gouge it out or anything and have to fill it. That's just the way the wood knots right there. Um, but uh, anyway couple of things this particular kit this is my fourth CB Giddy kit that I've done and by the way there's the devil pattern why I call it the devil's uke um, and you will note that I put that upside down because I'm an idiot so it's a right-handed uke and I drew the pattern as if it was left-handed I don't know what I was thinking but hey live and learn <laughs> I put the skull and crossbones here on the headstock did the uh, horns and tail pattern there to try to make this kind of a a, you know a devil themed kind of instrument I like the way it came out um, but I do wish I would have paid attention when I did this and did it the other way by the time I realized it was upside down I'd already painted it you know I painted the red painted the silver and then clear coated it and that was the point that I realized it was upside down I don't know how I didn't notice before then but oh well now it's gonna be upside down unless I want to sand it down and repaint it because that's how it is now um, I will point out that of the four C beginning kits that I've done, I did the Tin Pan Alley, I did the Mountain Tenor, I did the Hobo Fiddle, and now the uh, Guinea Lele. And of the four kits, this is the only only one that I've put together that I had to modify the neck. So let me show you what I'm talking about. When I put this neck in here, and now by the way, I want to you know point out there's a brace underneath here. I know you can't see it. I might have got a picture of it when I was building it, but. There's some bracing underneath here that comes with the kit. So you brace it. You can see the neck pocket is pre-cut on both sides. So there's no way that you could put the neck in differently. I mean, that's just how it is. So I put the neck in there. And when I put it together, the neck was tilted slightly. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. There we go. The neck was tilted slightly this way, slightly downward. So what I did was I took the neck and on the heel of the neck here, so you can see where the neck, there's not much there. You can kind of see that from the cross section, right? There's just, so I, I don't feel that I did anything wrong with the assembly, um, but the way that I fixed it is I just took the heel of the neck and sanded it off this way. <clears throat> so it comes up towards the back. And then what happened is these pre-drilled holes here. So then when I drilled those screws are, yeah, fasten those screws in. Tip the neck upward just a little bit, just that little step, and now we've got a nice action there. Um, but that's the first time I've had to do that on a giddy kit. All my others just went together and just worked. So um, that is worth noting. If this is your first kit, you might want to <laughs> double check those things before you uh, you try it. But overall, um, I'm pretty pleased with it. It came out really nice. It looks good. It sounds really good. Let me see if I can just. I don't know if that's going to come through, really. I'll have to do a sound demo with it. But it looks good. It sounds good. It's a nice kit overall. I'm pretty pleased with it. concert size ukulele. Yeah. All right, so here she is. Uh, do a little quick sound sample for you guys. Uh, it actually sounds pretty darn good. It's got a nice woody tone, pretty good volume. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed by the sound of it. And it's pretty playable, too. Now that I got that neck in there, right, it's got a great action. Plays pretty well. So um, let's make up a tune. <laughs> I don't, because I don't have anything ready to play, so I'm just going to make something up for you. I can't even get that big. 
that was terrible, but oh well, <laughs> you can hear it. <laughs>